A very good morning to everyone. Today's lecture is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and antipyrotic analgesics. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are the class of compounds which are used to reduce the inflammation and antipyrotics are intended to reduce the elevated body temperature and analgesics are intended to reduce the pain. Before going in depth regarding the topic, we are going to focus on eicosanoids which are postulated to be the major cause for causing inflammation, pain as well as the elevated body temperature. So postaglandins, leukotrienes and thrombocosins are biologically active derivatives of 20 carbon atom polyunsaturated essential fatty acids released from cell membrane of phospholipids. They are the major lipid derivatives of photocoids and the biosynthesis of prostaglandins are derivatives of forsenoic acid. Many series of prostanoids and thromboxanes designated as A, B, C, I and depending upon their ring structure. So leukotrienes are obtained from the leukocytes. In the body, prostaglandins, thromboxanes and leukotrienes are derived from eicosa, tri or tetra or penta enoic acid. Thus collectively they are called as eicosanoids. In human tissues, the fatty acid released from the membrane lipid is 5, 8, 11, 14 cosa tetraenoic acid. There are no source of prostaglandins and leukotrienes. They are synthesized locally in response to appropriate stimuli. The stimuli activate the hydrolysis in specific this phospholipase GA to increase intracellular calcium. The cyclooxygenase pathway generates the eicosanoids with ring structures called prostaglandins, process cyclins, and thromboxanes, whereas the lipooxygenase pathway produces open chain compounds called as leukotrienes. Antonic acid metabolites which mediate the pain and inflammatory reaction. To any stimulus that may be chemical or mechanical, it causes disturbance of the cell membranes and it releases phospholipids. By the activity of phospholipase enzyme, it releases arachidonic acid. This arachidonic acid is utilizing two pathways for formation of these prostaglandins, prostacyclins, and thromboxins, as well as leukotrienes. So the formation of this prostaglandin, prostacycline, and the thromboxane utilizes the cyclooxygenase pathway. So arachidonic acid by means of cyclooxygenase enzyme, it releases prostaglandins which mediate the pain and inflammation, releases thromboxins also abbreviated as 3x, leads to leukocyte modulation, vasoconstriction and platelet aggregation and ultimately the inflammation is formed. Also releases prostacyclines called as PGI2 forms the vasodilation. This arachidonic acid utilizes lipoxygenase pathway by mediated through this lipoxygenase enzyme and forms leukotrienes called as open chain compounds. This leukotrienes further forms this leukotriene B4 uh, which forms the phagocyte attraction activation and leads to inflammation. And another classification of uh, leukotriene is leukotriene C4, D4 and E4 leads to alteration of the vascular permeability, bronchial constriction and increased secretion. Ultimately that leads to bronchospasm, congestion as well as the mucus plugin. So these are the major arachidonic metabolites which mediate the inflammatory reactions.